I'm Sabine Bergman. And I'm Savani Babu. We're the co-founders of Hidden Compass, an award-winning company that's turning nerds like journalists, scientists, artists, and explorers into household names. We're leveraging the power of community and your participation helps us champion literary journalism that is both nuanced and sustainable. The antidote to clickbait. Meet the author behind this story and directly support their work with a contribution. The storyteller will receive 50% of crowdfunding proceeds on top of what we already pay. The other 50% support Hidden Compass and our mission. My name is Alex Kroviak. I'm a photojournalist and expedition guide based in San Diego, California. I'm originally from the East Coast. I studied biology and environmental science at Boston College. And although I love the outdoors, when I first moved to the Channel Islands off the coast of Southern California, my first impression was, what have I done? I had previously studied carnivorous plants in Iceland and kelp forests in South Africa. And after publishing a paper in a scientific journal, decided that I wanted to reach a different audience. So I moved to Catalina Island, the most well-known of the Channel Islands, where I taught marine science to middle and high schoolers. My college roommate was from Southern California and told me about the orange fish and the herd of bison that lived on Catalina, but beyond that, I didn't know much. And it wasn't what I expected. Catalina was rugged and dramatic, but it was also desolate. It looked a lot like a Mediterranean island, but a much, much more barren one. But on day two, I got the opportunity to go beneath the waves and everything changed. The contrast between the desiccated landscape and the world in the water really hooked me. I ended up staying on the Channel Islands for almost three years. This is also where I really began merging my love of nature and science with my love of photography and storytelling. Stories are how we captivate and motivate people. It's how we show others what's out there and what's worth protecting. While living on Catalina, I produced several photo essays for the New York Times that showed the effects of drought on the island, as well as documenting the wildlife that calls the island home. People tend to get really excited about exotic destinations like French Polynesia and the Galapagos, but they don't get nearly as excited about the Channel Islands, which, in my opinion, are just as deserving. Now, I'm also lucky to guide expeditions for National Geographic, and what always excites me about these trips in particular is what's exciting me about this story. It's a chance to show people what's really there. These islands sit just off the coast of some of the country's densest population centers, but they still go largely unseen. Thanks so much for watching, and please visit hiddencompass.net to support this storyteller. Together, we'll celebrate the people who researched the unknown, helicopter in, snowshoe out, dive deep, and invite us to discover. These are our new influencers. Explorers are in. Are you?